before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my Instagram so in order to look together at the visa policy of South Africa just click over this link over here and this page will appear in front of you and it will show you the visa policy map of South Africa so there are many countries that can travel to South Africa without applying for any visa some of them are allowed to uh, stay uh, up to 90 days like citizens of United States Brazil Argentina Canada many European countries Russia Australia other countries are allowed only for 30 days there are also uh, many countries that need uh, that can apply for uh, electronic visa before traveling to uh, South Africa and for the rest of the world you will have to apply for the visa through your embassy once you uh, scroll down here you can see the list of the countries that can travel without any need for any visa for 90 days for 30 days and also you can see here a list of the countries that are uh, eligible for electronic visa like Cameroon Egypt India Ethiopia Uganda Pakistan Nigeria and Saudi Arabia so in order to apply for electronic visa for South Africa just click over this link over here ehome.dha.gov dot z a slash ebermet slash home and once you click over it this page will appear in front of you and this is the official website that you can use to apply for the e-visa for south africa so to apply for the e-visa first you will have to go through step one which is creating your profile then you will have to submit your online form then upload your documents and confirm secure payment just click here create your profile okay and here they are giving you a list of the countries that can apply for uh, electronic visa Cameroon Congo Egypt Ethiopia India Iran Kenya Mexico Nigeria Pakistan China Philippines Saudi Arabia and Uganda okay then okay full name first name surname passport number country let's say I'm applying from India let's say I'm applying from India it is issued at that date and it will expire at that date okay okay email address confirm email address okay password confirm password okay click over the capacha and then click create create profile okay a verification email has been sent to this email okay now I'm going to my email I received this email okay because you're applying this is my application ID I'm sorry please record your application ID and save 
okay you are receiving this email because you're applying for the visa for uh, to visit Tanzania your application ID is this number date 24th of July please record your application ID in safe and show and secure place in case of technical issue okay in order to access your application later however you will need your application ID email address and the answer of the security key I will just click sign in email address So now I received the verification email. Okay, this is the verification email over here. And to click, click here, confirm account. And once you click confirm account, this page will appear in front of you, still loading, 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 loading. Department of Home Affairs, South Africa. And now they are telling me your profile is now active please log in to make an application click ok write my email over here passport number click over the kabacha then click sign in Okay, just for now and here click create application no loading and this is the application wizard please indicate the type of application you should apply for application for visa to temporary uh, sojourn to the Republic of South Africa application for waiver okay this one okay is this application being uh, completed in behalf of a minor no please state the number of people you are applying for including yourself one then create form and now in front of me here this is the application here okay principal application details those are the details okay then starting with click here to add an, applica uh, an applicant not sure okay so here are the parts for the personal details physical address okay you need to fill all these sections i am sorry i made a mistake i added another applicant so i will just try to remove this other uh, applicant to make it for only one person I can do it by going back here create application no and now okay only one person and create form and this is a 
application form in front of me and now we will start filling the application form together so to fill the application form starting with the first section over here application type okay uh, new application okay temporary residence visa category visitor visa title mister okay mail okay given name my surname okay any other formal name place of birth country i'll choose india date of birth for example nationality let's stick with india home telephone number okay and this is my email okay passport type just a passport qualification graduate occupation let's say uh, any occupation just to choose your occupation unemployed for example purpose of visit vacation holiday if your spouse and other dependents are not combining do they intend to enter the country at later stage i'll say no okay then after this section we go to the other section physical address okay just want to make sure that this one is completely filled okay temporary residence okay just make sure that the title is green okay physical address unit number one complex sorry all this section here is optional you don't have to fill it okay which within the republic of south uh, africa so where will you be residing there which place in south africa let's say odo for example okay of current residence address okay your current address country code india okay write your address here address okay citizenship uh, present country of citizenship choose India yes by birth do you hold citizenship of another country I will say no do we have uh, any other passport for or identity document i'll say no then go after that to the section i'll say not married okay appearance parent details status alive or say unknown if you don't want to give further details but you have to give it's better to give the, the correct details of your parent details okay if they are alive you have to give their name the surname of parent detail parent a for the father parent b for the mother unknown so don't choose unknown choose either alive or decayed and in both uh, situations you will have to give uh, the personal information, the name and else. Okay. Uh, details of the five most recent visas issued to you. Have you? Do you have any visa issued uh, to you, valid or expired in the last five years? I'll say no. 
do you hold the right to of free entry into your country of origin or country of resident if uh, it's different I'll say it's not like no specify present status okay I'll just say yes okay because I'm already living in my own country do you have other addresses where you have lived before during the last 10 years I'll say no refugee status have you ever applied for asylum or refugee in the Republic of South Africa I'll say no do you currently hold I'll say no okay contact person in your country of residence I uh, say relative gives a title it's a given name and give all these details the country code will be India the whole the phone will be India okay and here are details regarding contact personal in the Republic of South Africa I'll say no okay I initiation pro uh, proposed duration of stay in Republic of South Africa departure for the Republic of South Africa I will say I will travel in November and I will leave in December 1st place of the bar usher the place of the bar usher let's say Delhi airport for example I'll say I'll arrive at this airport in South Africa traveling by air okay now this is the intended day of of arrival and this is the intended day of departure okay I'm staying one month outline your purpose activities while uh, while in the Republic of South Africa okay finalize declaration uh, available fund let's say I will have like three South African fund equivalent so you can do the exchange here they are giving you the exchange website so for example let's select the currency to be USD one thousand okay so my login have been expired I will have to log in again And click sign in so I already have an application saved I'll click edit still loading okay I stopped at this section here I'll choose USD is the United States of America I'll say 1000 and it's equivalent to how the value to South African rand
South African Rand. So if I give 1000 convert, it will give me this amount. Control C. Control V. Okay, this amount. So I just need to remove. Okay. Do you have valid valid return ticket? I'll say yes. We can or can just say no, but it's better to have a valid return ticket and you give the number of the ticket. Employment record of application. Have you been employed or you are currently employed? I will say no. Security health question have you ever been refused to enter no have you uh, have you or any of your de dependent accompanying you ever been convicted of any crime no in a criminal civil case pending no are you or any of your suffer from no no. Have you ever been judicially declared? No. Are you member? Say no. Okay. And in the end, this is a part of declaration. Click on your declaration. Okay. And after clicking on the declaration, declaration, So after clicking on the declaration section, just click on top over here. It will take you to this part where you have to submit your application. Click on submit. Okay. Have you reviewed your application and it's ready to be submitted? I will say yes. Okay. If you want to review, just click here to review. I will say yes. And then it is loading. Okay, the application has been successfully submitted. Okay. So after submission, this page will appear in front of you. Just click over view documents over here. You will need to upload some documents like proof of sufficient funds, mean net worth, monthly payment received. Just click upload, upload document and the purpose and duration of visit. You have to upload it also. and a valid passport upload okay and then you'll have to click submit documents okay and now you will have to get payment information just click over get payment information okay payment 
from the total payment that you need to make is zero rupees so for now you don't have to uh, to pay for the visa the visa is uh, is issued for free so in order to check your status right now you can just click over the main page over here and you can see your status that you have completed your application your document have been uploaded your application status is submitted and your payment status is uh, initiated since uh, you don't have to make any payment actually since for India I think for these days uh, you just uh, like the application is for free and the progress status awaiting uh, adjud adjudication outcome so you will just uh, have to wait for them to approve your uh, application form either they uh, approve it or they uh, reject it so in case you need to apply for the visa for south africa through the embassy you can find the visa application form from here just click over this link this page will appear in front of you here in the application form click on the visa application form and this is the page that will appear in front of you it is loading right now this is a visa application form you will have to uh, download it print it and to fill it completely manually and in the end you don't forget to uh, write your signature and uh, the date and you will have to submit this visa application form along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video to the embassy of south africa in your country in this section we will speak about all the documents that you will need to apply for any visa but before we start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel share this video and if you have any question write it in the comment section down there or contact me at my account at instagram the first document that you will need is your passport make sure that your passport is valid for six months and at least two pages are empty for the stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will also need photocopies of your passport make sure that you have at least three photocopies and mainly they will ask for a photocopy for the data pages but sometimes the foot a photocopy of the stamps and the other visas in your passport will be required you will also need a personal picture make sure that your picture is new not older than six months and it's preferred that your picture be with a white background except if they tell you something else and your face details must be clear in your picture you will have to submit a visa application form it could be online or filled by computer then printed and signed or printed then filled manually then signed all depend on the kind of the visa you're applying for you will have also to submit a proof of status if you are an employee you will need to submit an hr letter signed from your company stating your position and your salary and all the details of your company if you are the business owner you need to provide all uh, the document that prove that you have your own business if you are a student then you will need to submit uh, an admission letter from your university if you are a minor you need a letter of permission from your parents and if you are jobless then you will need to uh, prove uh, your source of fund you will need to provide a proof of legal status only if you are applying from another country so if you are traveling as a tourist or visitor or working in another country then you will have to submit either a visa or uh, a residence permit in this country a proof of funds is also required it could be a bank statement and it should cover at least the last the last six months of your account and it should be signed and stamped from your bank you will be asked sometimes to submit a flight reservation and it should be a round trip and it could be either a confirmed ticket or a dummy ticket and I will teach you how to make both of them 
confirm a ticket and also a dummy ticket there are many websites that you can use for booking your flight uh, ticket and in this uh, video we will use IAC site of course there are many other sites uh, like Skyscanner and you can also book directly from a flight company itself so here let's assume okay our flight is returned so it's like round of flight and only for one adult and our decision from Cairo let's say to Karachi Pakistan and let's use the dates okay these dates are fine search and now the site is searching for the flights there are many expensive flights but we will try to find cheap one so we can see this flight okay click here for the cheapest this flight from Lethad is very cheap so we will need to view the details of this flight just click over view details okay and we will be directed to this website budget air where we will have to make our booking okay i accept this is a site okay i already used the flight now i have to fill my details as the passenger and this is the price in uh, the emirate uh, dirham but we already knew the price in us dollars here we need to fill our details all our details name your name date of birth and whatever whatever just as an example i just want to show you how to make a booking using this random site and okay okay we have to fill more details here in this station uh, you can pay more money so uh, in case you want to cancel your your trip you can uh, get full fund okay passenger number expiry date okay that number okay and then click next now here my contact details you need to fill your contact details okay i have to fill these sections Read. address line postal code city email retype the email and the phone number then next okay and you can pay for your flight now we have uh, to choose again okay this is the main price don't pay i don't want to pay any extra money you just choose it they keep remind uh, reminding you do you want to pay extra money for uh, a full refund and down there i will choose my booking i will choose the basic one because there is no extra charges i'm just trying to find the cheapest way and then click down there no thanks and then next and right now i am in the section where i have to make my payment first check your details my flight from here to there my details and in this section you need to fill uh, your credit card or visa card number and to make your payment then the ticket will be sent uh, to you by your uh, through your email so for those who want to learn how to make a dummy ticket not a confirm a ticket you can use this uh, website dummy ticket for making a dummy ticket and the whole idea behind a dummy ticket that once you make 
uh, a booking they buy the ticket for you with your details and they put it in on hold for 10 days or two weeks and after that your ticket will expire so it is a real ticket but it will expire after uh, a specific uh, period so you need to choose which ticket do you want uh, are you sure that you are going to travel then you make a confirmed ticket or are you still not sure and afraid that you will lose money so you make uh, a dummy ticket so right now to start making a dummy ticket i think we need to click over uh, buy ticket this icon and in this section you have to choose the type of your ticket you want this ticket for applying for visa so we'll choose the first one and the price will be 19 us dollars and then down there we you will have to start filling all your details your name your surname your date of birth and so on okay then uh, uh, your travel details okay your departure date okay it's around the trip so from which city to which city your departure date your return date and how you can also choose how you want to get this dummy ticket through email whatsapp or both of them and then you fill your billing details your personal details and down there you have to choose the way of paying for this ticket you can choose either paypal or debit and credit card just fill the details of your card and make your payment then you will receive your ticket uh, through either email or whatsapp a travel accommodation proof should also be provided sometimes it's asked to be confirmed sometimes it's okay to be an initial uh, booking uh, and sometimes some countries require you that this travel accommodation proof covers at least a third of your trip there are many websites for making a hotel booking but the most common website is booking.com you just need to choose your destination where to go uh, let's say Delhi New Delhi and then my check-in will be in these dates the first till the fifth for four nights and i want a place only for one adult all right done and start searching and you can see all the options down there and you can sort these options well, according to well, the price for example using the cheapest first so for example you can go for the cheapest prices first if you care about money and you can see many 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 cheap stuff uh, over here of course you can change the currency uh, from Egyptian bound to US, do uh, to US dollars uh, or any other uh, currency and you need also to check uh, like the rank of all these uh, rooms so let's say that I will choose this hotel just click over it and then this page will appear in front of you you can see pictures of the place where you are going to stay and they will tell you the other things like there is Wi-Fi uh, there is a shower uh, there is AC so just go down there and now you can choose this is the price for four nights uh, and you can pay this number for one person or uh, another number for two person so yeah it's considered to be a very cheap price for two people now you can just select a room and once you select the room you will you, you will just click over I will reserve that you want to reserve this room all right 
and here in this section you will start filling all your details your detail over here all your details your name uh, uh, why you are traveling the reason of your trip and then once you finish it you go down there okay and then click over final details and once you click over it you don't have to pay of course because the payment will be in the property but you will have to confirm your booking and then they will send you a copy of your booking uh, through your email some countries especially european countries require you to provide a travel insurance so it should be made from a verified office or platform and as i told you it's not always necessary and it should cover your whole trip and some countries require you to uh, submit a travel insurance that covers a year and it should cover at least uh, 30,000 euros and that doesn't mean that its price should be 30,000 euro but I will clarify uh, to you when I teach you right now how to make a travel insurance there are many websites to make a uh, travel insurance uh, we are going to use AXA Schengen website for making this travel uh, insurance uh, so once you uh, get to the website you have just to choose you're making an insurance for only one person okay and you need to use the, the dates from which day to which day and then get code and you then will find many options like there are we offer the first one that can cover for 30 uh, thousand euros this is the good one and this is the one which is required by European Union for uh, 62 euros so this one is is very good but there are also other options like the other one with 70 uh, with 97 uh, euros and the other one for a full year for 30 for 328 uh, euros but uh, we will just go with uh, the first uh, option since it's uh, it, it is cheap and also uh, cover all uh, the essentials that we need wait so just click over select and once you select it you get to the section where you will have to fill all your details and then click confirm and pay and once you click confirm and pay you make your payment using your visa card visa card or mastercard and then you will receive this travel insurance through your email remember also that before applying for any visa you have to contact either the embassy or the application office and ask them if there is any extra documents required from you or is there is any uh, different documents or is there is any change in the visa application procedures because sometimes visa uh, procedure change from a country to another in the end please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media accounts and if you have any question or inquiry please write it down there at the comment section or contact me at my instagram